G'day folks. Um, well, you've got a one month left in the mighty red truck raffle. I guess the thing that you probably need to know about is the back. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, the, I love it. I think the whole truck's pretty special myself. Um, and even though the paint isn't as shiny as the old Ruthie's head these days, um, it's still a wonderful thing. The whole idea behind the design of this truck all started because I wanted to achieve something that I used to have when I was a kid, as usual. Uh, I was the kid, I was about 19. I had this old Dodge, 1942 Dodge Ambulance, had the spare wheels mounted on the sides. And it was a marvellous thing, because you'd charge it through the bush, you know, that's what we used to do with it. And um, those tyres meant that you never copped the scrapes down the side of the truck, because you lean into something and the tyres would take it. And I started to think it's the coolest looking thing I've ever seen and that's what I wanted with the red truck. I wanted it to look super cool and perform really well. And of course, having the tyres sitting where they are, the spare tyres sitting where they are, gives you all the weight right in the right, the right place, body wise. It's not too high, it's in between the axles. It's way better than having the spares hanging off the back of the truck where they act like a big pendulum. And it looks really cool. But of course, the best thing about it is that uh, when you're in those leaning into the side situations, which you can get into when you've got double lockers and a big engine and low range gears, then um, the tyres, because they stick out a little bit more, take the brunt of that. Makes it really cool, a whole lot safer. Ah, oh, I just love it. We built it out at track about trailers, uh, back in the old days, using all trailer panels um, which pretty much governed its dimensions. The dimensions, the width was governed by where the tyres would sit eventually, the spare tyres, and um, the rest of the tray, I wanted it as short as possible. I wasn't really worried about carrying too much stuff because too much weight is what cruels any four-wheel drive. I only needed enough stuff for, you know, a good couple of weeks away, that kind of thing. Room for the fridge and the recovery gear and all the rest of it. There's plenty of that in the back of Red Truck. And because of the step side design, it means I've got access to hang things off the outside, or you will, if you're in the truck in the raffle. Um, it's got fuel and water containers and stuff, you know, room to stick those kind of things in there on the outside where you can get at them, where they don't pollute the stuff that's inside. And of course, I guess the, the, the really good thing about it is that it keeps all the weight fairly central. So you don't have all that weight hanging out on the outside. I've seen traybacks tip over because a 44 gallon drum moved to one edge and the guy's on a little bit of an angle on a hill. You don't get any of that with the red truck. When it's fully loaded up, the weight's in the right place. Just like Milo, the big reason I cut the back off it. You've got to be careful and understand how you pack vehicles when you're going to do serious off-road work. And this is a very serious truck. Look, I'm I'm going to try and do what I said I'd do and, you know, run as many little clips on the red truck as I can over the next month because, look, at the moment, to be honest, your chances are really good of winning this magnificent truck. And if you're one of those people who reckon I can have it back to do DVDs, oh, gee, that's nice of you, but I reckon first time you drive it, you're going to want to keep it. Um, yeah, what else can I tell you? I never really finished the bar work on the back. I put those bars up so I can throw things over, keep water out of it when it rains. And it pretty much stayed that way. Uh, and, of course, the tray. You might have seen me cook off that back of that tray. It's got a stainless steel insert. Absolutely magic for a little bit of bush cooking. All right. Well, that's the Red Trucks tray. You need to get along to unlockaustralia.com.au and buy yourself some tickets. If you've already got tickets in it, trust me, you need some more. The money's going to the best cause on earth, trying to keep our tracks open. Alright guys, more about that, more about the red truck, more about everything else, some other time. Talk to you. Bye.